Now the topic that we are going to start is measures of central tendency. Now measures of central tendency popularly denoted by mean, median and mode. Remember the basic difference between all these three. Mean refers to the average, average of all the elements while median denotes the central value and mode stands for the most occurring value. So we are going to do you know, the calculations for mean, median as well as mode. First of all we will be starting with mean with this illustration whereby we are given class intervals and the frequency. Remember the formula to calculate the value of arithmetic mean it is summation fn upon n. So kindly take down the formula for calculating the arithmetic mean which is denoted by x bar. It is summation fn whole divided by n where n stands for total of the frequency. So let us do the total of the frequency initially. Just total the values of all these elements of frequency and tell me what is the value that is 1000. So n over here is 1000. Now we need to calculate the value of summation fn where m stands for midpoint. So we are going to calculate the value of midpoint. Now how will this midpoint be calculated? Midpoint is calculated by adding lower limit and upper limit and then dividing it by 2. So 0 plus 10 will give you 10. 10 divided by 2 five. will be equal to 5. Next 10 plus 20. 30 by 2 will be equal to 15. Then the midpoint of 20 and 30 will be 25. The midpoint between 30 and 40 it will be 35. Between 40 and 50 the midpoint will be 45. And between 50 and 60 the midpoint will be equal to 55. So we have to calculate the value of midpoint. Now we have to construct one more column that is Fm. Fm stands for the product of frequency as well as the value of midpoint. So 50 into 5 will be equal to 250. 15 multiplied by 100 will be equal to 1500. Now 250 multiplied by 25, I think this will be equal to 6250. 35 multiplied by 300. So 35 multiplied by 300 will be equal to 10,500. 10, 45 multiplied by 200, that is 9000. And 55 multiplied by 100 will be equal to 5500. So summation fn that will be equal to total of all these values. So what is the total of all these values? 33,000. That is equal to 33,000. Now we have the value of summation fn that is 33,000 divided by n. And was the total of the frequency in this continuous class interval. So the value of x bar, x bar or arithmetic mean will be equal to 33,000 divided by 1000 will be equal to 33. So that is our first measure of central tendency and the first measure of central, central tendency is arithmetic mean that is denoted by x bar. So x bar is summation of fm upon n. That was 33,000 divided by 1000. So x bar is equal to 33. Next, number 2. Write down the heading median. The second part that we are going to proceed is median. Now for median, you must remember this formula L plus n by 2 minus Cf upon f into i. So first of all, take down this formula which will be used to calculate the value of calculate the value of median, <coughs> then we will proceed further. Now remember L 
L stands for lower limit of the median class. So please take down the full form for L. That is lower limit of the median class. N is again equal to total of the frequency CF. Remember CF stands for cumulative frequency of the previous class. CF stands for cumulative frequency of the previous class. Next, F. F stands for frequency of the median class. Remember CF stands for cumulative frequency of the preceding class and F stands for frequency of the median class. Next, I. I stands for class interval of the median class. I stands for class interval of the median class. Now see, how we are going to calculate the value of median. In order to calculate the value of median, we should know where is this n by 2 element. Now n is 1000 by 2, that is equal to 500. Now in order to calculate the value of median, first of all we will have to construct this column for cumulative frequency. CF stands for cumulative frequency. So we need to construct this column for cumulative frequency and cumulative frequency is constructed by adding the values of frequency with the previous value. So 50, the cumulative value will be equal to 50, 100 plus 150 will be equal to 150, 250 plus 150 will be equal to 400, next 300 plus 400 will be 700, 200 plus 700 will be 900 and 100 plus 900 will be equal to 1000. Now we have to locate this 500 element and remember this 500 element on carefully examination of the values of cumulative frequencies we can ascertain that 500 element will be lying in this particular class interval. Now the lower limit of this class interval will be equal to 30 n by 2 n by 2 is equal to 500 minus CF CF stands for cumulative frequency of the previous class. Now if this class interval is selected, the previous class interval's cumulative frequency is 400. Then F stands for frequency of the median class. That is equal to 300 multiplied by class interval. So this class interval 30 to 40 is comprising of 10 basis points. Now solving this, we will get 500 minus 400, 100 upon 300 into 10. Ultimately, this will be equal to 3.33. So 30 plus 3.33 will be equal to 33.33. So that will be our median value. So mean stands for Arithmetic average, median stands for the central value. Now we come to the calculation of mode. Now mode, how to calculate the value of mode? Please take down the calculations of median. Then we will proceed with the calculation of mode. Okay. Now in order to calculate the value of mode, Kindly take down the formula for the calculation of mode. Now the value of mode will be L plus delta 1 upon delta 1 plus delta 2 into I. This will be the formula that you will be making use of to calculate the value of mode. Kindly take down this formula so that you are able to calculate the value of mode easily. Now take down the full form for delta 1 
delta one stands for f one minus f zero and delta two stands for f one minus f two. Where f one stands for frequency of the mode class. F one stands for frequency of the mode class. F zero stands for frequency of the previous class. F zero stands for frequency of the previous class. F one stands for again you know frequency of the mode class. And F two stands for frequency of the next class. You know next to the Mode class. Now, how to locate the values of f1, f0, f2? Look at the frequencies, and looking at these frequencies carefully, we have to select the highest frequency. The highest frequency will be termed as f1. The frequency above it will be called as f0, and the next frequency will be called as f2. So we need to locate the values of frequency. Highest will be considered as F1. Uh, the frequency, you know, which is after it, will be called as F2, and the previous class interval's frequency will be called as F0. So let us calculate the value of delta one initially. Now delta one is F1 minus F0. So it is 300 minus 250. Minus 250. That is equal to 50. Next. F1 300 minus next class interval frequency that is 200 that is equal to 100. Remember, we have to take the modulus value always. Obviously, majority of the times it will be positive value, but we will have to take the absolute value, absolute value between these frequencies. So we got F1 300. Minus 250, that is equal to 50, and 300 minus the next frequency was 200, so 300 minus 200 gave us 100. Now putting all these values in our formula, this is the mode class. Looking at the lower class limit, L stands for lower class limit, that is equal to 30. Delta one, delta one was 50 upon 50 plus 100 multiplied by class interval. The class interval is comprising of 10 points. Now we have to place our values in this formula, and now we will go for the final calculation of mode value. So mode will be 30 plus. Now this will be 50 upon 150 into 10. Now if we cancel. No zero by the zero, and dividing fifty upon fifteen. What is the value that we will get? Fifty by three point three three. So again, the mode will be equal to thirty three point three three. Sometimes they may be equal. Sometimes they may not be. So the calculations of the that is arithmetic average median that was the central value. And more that was the most attractive value. Are clear, yes. right? Okay.